I broke the curse of the little bastard. Well, the curse of the little bastard is anybody who gets close to James Dean dies. I contracted botulism. Yeah, and I was on life support all of uh, last February. And so now I'm, I'm back healthy and ready to, to, you know, hit the road running. Look who's here. Oh, there's, there's James Dean. Loved acting ever since I was probably 13 or 14 years old. I fell in love with James Dean's struggle. You know, I learned everything about him. When we got on set, the director, Matthew Mishery, told me to forget everything I learned about James Dean and be a lost boy in L.A. I think what I wanted to tell with it was um, James Dean was idolized as something that he, you know, probably wasn't fully. Through the studios in the 50s, you know, they make their actors out to be a product. I think when you talk to anybody who really knew him, they're like, he was a normal boy going through a lot. I just hope people go into the movie um, wanting to learn more about James Dean. That's what I really hope you take from the movie is a just an interest in maybe picking up a book about him and actually learning who he was as a person because he was, you know, sheer genius in a lot of ways, but I think a lot of that, that genius came from pain, massive amount of pain. I started a fight club, fighting on the street. I thought that the one rule about fight club is you don't talk about fight club. Not in this one, we just kicked each other's butts and watched it later that day. How long would the fights go for? <laughs> Depends how long you could last. I mean, we, we just had a rule that you had to basically, um, you had to stay in the fight for three minutes. That was it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Congratulations, Film House San Diego, for 15 years. Yeah.